What's up, fishies? Pardon my hat light. Um, <laughs> well, I kind of did it again. Um, did something that I should have been recording. Um, but I can walk you through what I did. Uh, this is going to be episode six, I believe. Yeah, episode six. Yeah, yeah. So, here's what I did. Now, of course, my table saw that I acquired, the motor quit, it no longer worked, but the switch still worked. And of course, I got an idea this morning. Since this is a switch that has a plug, like so, I took the original blade out. Now, there is a slight problem with what I did. Because this on the table is now backwards. Because it generally spins just like that. Now, this is exactly how it would be in the table like that. Now, you already see an issue, don't you? The blade's backwards. And <clears throat> this one spins this way. Now, I know you're asking, Doc, how'd you screw that up? Well, <laughs> it kind of couldn't be helped because the way this plate is turned and the fact that this screw here is impossible to get out considering I don't have the tool, believe it or not, to remove a strip screw to where I could reverse that plate. So for now, this is what I had to do, which means I'll have to run the boards this way instead of this way. Which is fine. I mean, I can work with that. Of course, you want to know exactly what I did. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get the lights on under here. There we go. That's right. Regular old circular saw mounted to the table. Now, these brackets here was what made the blade go this way. Of course, that function wasn't working anymore either because everything was rusted out. So, as you can see, I put that one almost back identical to where it had been. And what I did is I secured it on the middle bolt here. I had to cut this edge off to where it fit right up here on this lip. And the other fits behind this piece right here. And that's what helps secure it. Then I drilled a hole here and put a screw and nut here to further help hold this in. Now, I'm gonna try and get down low enough to where you can see on the other side what's going on. It's gonna be kinda of tricky. I zip tied the switch on. <clears throat> because it now works off the original switch. See how it's attached? It's holding down that plate. It 
Southern Ingenuity at its finest. And of course, run the plug, <coughs> the cable, through that opening, there. See, you can see where it's touching that plate in there. Actually, I don't think it is. Eh. No, it's not. So, what I'm going to have to do is back that bolt off because I need this to sit on that metal plate in there. Stuff out of the way so you can see. See how it's not quite sitting on that plate. So, I'll have to back the nut off, put it back on it and then tighten it back down again but you can see that it does sit flush like it should and it does work but you're about to see what I had previously said about electrical issues now I did in fact I did in fact attempt at hooking it up the welder yesterday while mom was here you know after we got done filming the previous episodes and it did in fact work without doing what the saw does and see that it works and to show you what I'm talking about you see the lights are on you see them flicker Did you see the lights flicker? <laughs> oh man, oh man. I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to make things work. All that means is I'm gonna have to plug it in to a different outlet. Uh, maybe run a longer extension cord from the back porch because I know that that doesn't flicker the power any. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got a table saw again. And, you know, I'm really excited about that because that means I get to finish a lot of the stuff under the carport, which is going to make me happy. Uh, whether or not we'll film that, that's another question. I mean... It, it'll, I think, be a little bit harder to film that just because we'd need a third person. Because, like, the beam that's going to go up here, you know, above the metal, takes two people to hold that sucker up and screw it in place. And that means... You know, may not be able to have a third person. Uh, well, we definitely need a third person, but I don't know that we can get one at the moment. Which is fine. It's totally fine. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? You know, we're going to do what we got to do. Uh, the fact that I can, in fact, run the welder now, and I know this, I've got to figure out how to be able to get a cord long enough to come in here anyways so I can back the truck in and hopefully start on Project Lilith the next week. Now tomorrow we've got a follow-up episode of mine and mom's grave dousing video. Mom's wanted to do an update on it you know I'll let her explain it of course you know, when the time comes, I'll let her explain it, and we'll go from there. But, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, was it hard to change 
the saws out. Yeah, it kind of was, and I'm a little disappointed because I had to cut a piece that I didn't want to cut, but because it is so rusted in there, like that right there is as far as it wants to back out easily. Although now it's wanting to come out. Oh, no, there it goes. But it was very hard. So I had to cut it. I mean, you can see how rusted everything is. And it just, it, it was not working. Um, and... Being that that is a dual post motor, you can't find a replacement for that now. Which is rather disappointing. And the closest motor I could find was a bit bigger. It was only a single post. And it was actually a compressor motor. Which, yes, it would work. It's the same principle. But... It was $189, and I know for a fact that I can go get a brand new version of this for roughly $225, which means that, honestly, by the time I figured out how to disassemble that bracket, make it work with the new motor, to be able to get that to function like I needed it to again. Now remember, it didn't turn at angles and it also didn't raise up. So, <clears throat> that being said, I felt that it was pretty pointless to spend that kind of money. Um, you know, that's $189, that's, that's a chunk of change. And, I mean, I've seen what I did today done before. Um, of course, if I can ever get figure out how to get it swapped around the other direction to where it functions the way it should, then, yeah, I'll probably do that. Uh, and I may end up just buying a new one and converting this one to a miter saw table. Because... Again, we know I'm not real great at cutting a straight line. Um, and I can get, you know, the metal cutting blade to put on that saw. And it'll work. I know because I've done it with my DeWalt's. Uh, I have one that is for wood and the other's for metal. But I can't cut a straight line to save my life, which is why I need a table like this. Because it definitely helps me do that. Um, since it's getting daylight, we're going to start flipping out shop lights here. Because essentially done under here for the day anyways. Whew, got a little dark. There we go. Now we can see me. So, that's where we're at. Um, like I said, I will more than likely switch everything out for metal if I get a new wood one and I know y'all are waiting to see progress on that girl and it's coming I promise it is coming <laughs> especially now that I know that I can in fact run the welder without tripping a breaker stuff like that so we're definitely going to be getting on that project I've just got to like I said I've got to get things lined out <coughs> you know see about swapping out that blade for a metal blade because there is a piece that we're gonna to have to cut right down the center and because I can't cut a straight line by hand 
you know, definitely going to need something that can. So, you know, we will be switching that blade out at some point. Now, when and how, that's the question. Uh, sorry, I can't, I, I didn't switch out the uh, deal to where I could put the phone in the cradle. Um, but we will be getting on that. The first project is going to be making the frame for the new bed cover because it currently doesn't have a bed cover and flip the camera have a look see so you can understand what we're doing I've got a nice piece of C channel that <clears throat> I've got to weld two halves back together to make it long enough and it's going to fit from here all the way down to here and of course you know we're going to have to take the toolbox out and that's fine um, but to be able to have it long enough I've got to weld two pieces back together to be able to get the length of the bed and once we get those pieces cut get them bolted in then comes the fun part because then we've got to put the toolbox back in and we're going to run well, luckily I have a piece of angle iron to be able to show you exactly what we're going to do. Um, of course, uh, it hasn't been separated. But to give you an idea of what's going on, we'll attach a piece of angle iron to the frame, butt it up right to the toolbox about right where it's at there and once we do that and of course the piece of angle iron that I have it is longer uh, you know the top edge will sit flush with the top of the bed and you know we're gonna have another piece that runs on the inside sitting just like this but turned to where the L goes that way right down the side of each bed rail uh, there will be one that goes in front of the tailgate here uh, and there'll be I think one right here and one right here as well or it may just be one from that post to this post uh, and that's what that's what the metal for the bed cover will sit on um, I've got to look and make sure I've got the right square stock, which I'm also going to have to cut in half. Uh, and I'm hoping I have a long enough piece that I can cut three pieces for the width of the bed. Because that way, the metal will fit right on the top edge here. And the square stock will touch here it'll be like this sitting there resting on this that way the metal doesn't go goes to Laverne Reagan going to go mow something uh, and the metal will sit you know flush with the edge of the bed you know that's that's the game plan on that uh, 
And of course after that, we can build the headache rack to protect the back glass. Uh, and of course, you know, I've, I've got that piece out, got it ready to start cutting, welding it, all that. And of course, a friend of mine, when I was talking about the bed cover, asked me, well, are you going to weld the whole thing in or are you bolting it in? Well, that's a good question. Um, but the piece of angle iron that is going to sit flush with the bed here, the piece of angle iron that will, you know, be here, will attach to this. I'm probably going to weld that. Um, maybe. Uh, I mean, actually, I may just bolt that in just for the simple fact that it'll make it way easier if I need to take it out to haul something. Um, so that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'll probably just bolt the inside frame in. That way it's easier to take out. Um, but, I mean, the, the flat part of the bed cover will be able to be taken out regardless uh, you know I'm I'm will I'm still working on trying to figure out how I'm gonna put locks on it um, that's one more thing that unfortunately I've got to figure out um, but you know yeah I'll get it figured out Flip it up on! I bet that was an interesting shot. Butterfingers this morning. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, you know, like I said, the the flat, the top of the bed cover, the bed cover itself will be able to be removed. Uh, I've got to figure out a locking mechanism for it to be able to latch it in place. Uh, it's going to be three sheets of metal that fold are hinged uh, that just that makes it easier to get it in and out um, but hopefully we can get started on that soon um, really 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 wanted to get on that because you know I'm, I'm excited to see you know another vision become reality and you know, I, I love it when a vision comes together. I mean, it's just like the little trailer that we've been working on so far. You know, I've, I've thought about it for a while. And to finally be able to do it, you know, makes me very happy. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys and gals. My little fishies. Because that's all there is to say about it. I mean, I'm... I apologize for not thinking ahead and actually recording the whole process and, and I think it took roughly 45 minutes I believe which is a little bit over our 30 minute time limit but you know but it's all right you know there's always the next time the next project you know maybe when I go to switch out the blade I'll do a video on that who knows <laughs> But until next time, the next episode, much love, rock on, have a blessed day everybody, and like, share, subscribe, it's free to do, you know, share it on all your social media, you know, subscribing, you know, it helps us out, you know, it helps the algorithm, I'm sure you've heard this thousand million times, it really does. Even hitting that like button, dropping a comment, any of it helps. So until the next episode, peace everybody. Have a blessed day and come back and see us.